I think the uh, temperature is a fan <laughs> of the Titans. The mercury is in the blue range. The, oh, Jennifer, you're so good. <laughs> exactly. And you've got a little bit of red coming in mm -hmm. this afternoon because we will slowly warm. But you're right. It is definitely in the blue range with these temperatures and we're not going to warm too much. Let's just put it that way. But they have been preparing and I just have to ask is tighten up in your head now that tighten up. I mean, that's just going to be going over and over. Really great job by the production team and all of the musicians right now. We're coming in 17 degrees overlooking Nashville. Winds are out of our north northwest at five. So this 17 is fluctuating as far as how it does feel. But it's still going to feel warmer than yesterday, and I know that sounds completely bonkers. Yesterday's low was right at 19, but we had a wind around 10 miles per hour, so that 19 felt as if we were at 12. The wind truly does dictate the weather story, and the winds will be another issue as we go throughout the day. Not so much in the way of speed, but location as they come in out of our north. Here's a live look for you right now in Lawrenceburg. Current temperature for y'all right around 15. And no, we didn't have any major precipitation yesterday, but say someone spilled some water on the ground and it's in a lower lying area that doesn't typically move its way through. That could be some ice out there this morning. So just kind of use some common sense with temperatures this cold. It's going to be a little frosty in some spots. The power five radars clean sweeps all across the area and we are clear when it comes to a loft temperature wise teens. All across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Thankfully, the winds are on the lighter end, but you get around six miles per hour over in Crossville and you're going to feel it. It's going to feel as if right now you're at four degrees. 10 degrees is what it feels like right here in Nashville. We're looking to see a ton of sunshine today, which is deceiving because it looks like it should be warm. Well, it will be warmer in the sun, but it's still going to be feeling as if we're right around freezing all day long. We're gonna have clear skies overnight. Temperatures will tumble back into the 20s as we make our way throughout Sunday evening. A few clouds are going to try and move in and you'll notice a few more clouds easing their way through as we head into Monday. Winds will have shifted out of our south, so that is going to really aid in the way of slightly warming us up where Monday will be the warmest day over the next seven. But just as we warm up, we get hit back with reality. That's going to be thanks to another cold front that's going to move through. It doesn't have a lot of moisture with it. Can't roll out one or two spotty showers, but our next best chance of rain and even potential winter weather moves back in on Friday. We're still several days out. As you know, these forecasts are very fickle, and this is just one of several model runs that we've got today. Winds will stay around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So of course that's going to shave off a few degrees as we head throughout the afternoon and then tomorrow winds will be gusting out of our west right around 25 to 30 miles an hour. That's going to help slightly warm us up. Here's a look over the next seven days. Highs today topping out at 39. It will feel as if we're around 32 to 34 degrees for majority of the day. Overnight, we're tumbling back into the 20s by the afternoon, 48 on Sunday with those winds gusting out of our west. Monday winds shift out of the south. We'll start out around freezing by the afternoon, 52. That seems pretty warm, doesn't it? Then we'll see a chance for one or two spotty showers on Tuesday. I'm not looking at a lot. These will be very sparse and very hard to really pinpoint. As we make our way into Wednesday, highs only starting around that 22 degree mark topping out at 33. We're dry Thursday and then we'll have a chance for potential winter weather by Friday evening. A lot of variables out there, but one thing that's been consistent, Jennifer, is cold. 